Welcome to Mukbaname, the mukbang with a review of an anime or manga that I enjoy. Today's manga is Before Chainsaw Man 17 to 21 by Tatsuki Fujimoto. And today's meal, tonkatsu curry. If you're like me and you like knowing what uh, the authors of your favorite series have made before or where their upbringings were, uh, I suggest checking this out. Tatsuki Fujimoto is most famously at this point known for Chainsaw Man, uh, but he has been working on a lot of different manga beforehand. Some of you may be familiar with his earlier work, Fire Punch, which is very different and grim compared to Chainsaw Man. Or you may know him from his critically acclaimed Look Back or Goodbye Airy, uh, two one-shots he published uh, more recently in 2021 and 2022 uh, that are just tremendous, beautiful stories that I also recommend checking out. I thought it was very cool that Viz Media decided to publish a collection of his shorts, his one-shots, one-and-done manga chapters that Fujimoto made from the ages of 17 to 21. This collection has four different one-shots that are very interesting and insane, but all in a good way. It's it's very, in, to me it was very informative of where his humor, style, and sense of uh, exaggeration and escalation comes from. And uh, I'm going to talk a little bit about each of them. Um, before that though, just for some context, uh, in the at the very end of the book, there's a note from Fujimoto himself talking about how he started getting into manga in order to pay for art school supplies after the 2011 Tohoku earthquake. I think it's very interesting that he was studying oil painting and then just kind of got into manga in order to pay for supplies and then his popularity just started growing. Um, and I thought it was very funny that at the end of his note, he mentions that he was against publishing a one-shot collection because he was simply too lazy to draw the cover and write the comments. <laughs> That said, uh, this some of his some of these works are very rough and very early. You know, he was like, like all creatives, uh, they aren't always a genius or uh, an amazing artist and whatnot. All right, so getting to the one shots, the first one shot called "A Couple Clucking Chickens Were Still Kicking in the Schoolyard," uh, definitely has uh, Fujimoto's sense of weird setting um, and it definitely has the edginess of a 17 year old it's got the the the, the sad plot twists and uh, really weird grim dark moments uh, that's violence and and there's a lot of death, uh, but there's a lot of emotional heart to it too a very weird story about an high schooler who is an alien taking care of a couple of chickens and I'm air quoting on the chickens. The second one shot, Sasaki stopped a bullet. It's also what the cover of this one shot collection is based off of. I enjoyed this short and it definitely has a sense of suspension of disbelief that you would see in cinema and it's very clear to me that his love of art cinema is showing in this specific one shot as it has a lot of questions that don't, aren't really answered and it's kind of ethereal in its execution but it is a very sweet one this one is definitely more personal less violence it's just uh it's just more so ju like hanging on the belief of hope and and the bright side of things. Uh, the third one shot, Love is Blind, was my favorite of the four. Apparently Fujimoto won the honorable mention in the November 2013 Shueisha Crown Newcomers Awards for this one shot. And this is definitely more comedic. It's not crazy violent or anything. Um, it is just really funny. And it's the type of joke escalation that I enjoy. It's a really stupid bit that just keeps growing bigger and bigger about this boy who wants to confess his love to his classmate, but things keep getting in the way and how, and he keeps pushing things aside, things that take more precedent aside because he really needs to confess to this girl. And it just keeps escalating the situation of like, what is stopping him? <laughs> uh, it is 
really funny. <laughs> I, I like it. It's just a, it's like I said, it's a really stupid joke, but uh, I, I like how it was done. And to me, it showed this definitely showed his art increasing a bit more. It's definitely more stylized and uh, a bit too rendered for what he normally does. But uh, hit the way he's uh, composing these panels and these impact moments, um, that that feels most like Chainsaw uh, to me. The final one shot, Shikaku, is interesting. Um, Manju. The final one shot, Shikaku, is interesting. I didn't dislike it, but it definitely didn't leave a big as it definitely didn't leave as big of an impact to me. Uh, I, it is an interesting, violent love story between these two uh, interesting figures. And uh, uh, there are good set pieces and moments in it, um, but it really is simply a one shot. <laughs> um, most times, you know, one shots could be published into something bigger, and I don't think that's the case into a bigger, like a bigger series or something like that, continuing series. Um, I don't think the four, any of these are need to be continued to the bigger series, but this definitely was a simple story. Um, it was cute, uh, but that's it. You know, um, I have a feeling a lot of people like would like this one a lot. Uh, I it, it 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 was it was it's it is heartfelt. It just. Reading this after Love is Blind was uh, a little tough because that was just the height for me. Or that was the bar for me. And uh, yeah, that's uh, that's pretty much it. Um, I know Fujimoto is re releasing 22 to 26 one shots that he's made during those years. And uh, as well as Goodbye Airy coming out later this year. Um, again, I, I might review them at some point, but you really should check out Look Back and Goodbye Airy. Even if you're not a fan of Chainsaw Man, they are very different, uh, beautiful one-shot stories. And, and I, I really appreciate uh, this author as an artist. Um, it's, it's cool that he can have fun, uh, but also want to pull on some heartstrings and... Uh, uh, and is very apparent of his love of cinema in all of his works. Yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, let me know what you think about Fujimoto's work, uh, including Fire Punch, Chainsaw Man, or if you've read this. And thanks for watching. Bye!